Right, if you are going to say it, then do so with bold face. It's likely no one will kill you. Get a life, Nigeria. Nigeria is drifting politically, socially, economically, sexually. It may well be that the nation I knew, or perhaps thought it was, was not and is not. How we lambasted the West for sexual frivolity, the American ladies in almost non-existent hot pants, while our fine Nigerians covered up in spite of the heat. You mustn't marry an Oibo girl, they are loose. There was the oft-peddled condemnation of a gun-carrying U.S., of the unclean European who would shower twice a week. Then came the gay movement, and we were pretty damn sure that the West was sunk. But look at Nigeria today. Femi Runshewe, government's top arts and culture man, is locked in a battle with a flagrant cross-dresser, Idris Okuneye, who goes by the name Bob Risky. University lecturers have turned Lothario and are being exposed as we speak. Bloody good. Our politicians, at least the joint session of the Houses, Senate and Reps, treated the president to an emperor's welcome as he came to deliver the budget proposal. Are these things really new? For how long have we suppressed rape? Aren't we still doing so even now? Has the male attitude toward relationships with females changed? Is the northern Nigeria not still full with child brides? There's always been talk of homosexuality in high government for years. Apparently, many millionaires were made or rode on this practice. Lecturers have enjoyed illicit and forced sex for decades, preying on young ladies and men. And one only has to watch video clips to remember that General Gowan was our first emperor. The fun fair that followed his every move was in such poor taste, but we did not realize it. Corruption by way of illegal enrichment of self with government money started before independence. Many of our so-called founding fathers were simply in the independence struggle to grab what they could as fast as they could. Nigerians, or as a friend pointed out, southern youth spent 7.2 billion naira voting in the finals of Big Brother Nigeria. These same people would, who would talk of hardship and lambast boring and poorly educated northerners. Yet, this is what they spend their money on. The nation requires a reset. We lived a lie of moral uprightness for too long. My charge is to the National Assembly and State Houses of Assembly too, who have bills to formulate and pass that should aim at strengthening our social fabric. This is so important and relevant. Laws that will need to be enforced, that need to be fair but strict. These legislators should also inspect the constitution and laws already in existence and ensure they are well publicized and enforced. We will not achieve progress except this is done. We need to get an education and a life. You know, this reminds me of, I think, I think it was either you or Emeka who did an advocacy where it seemed you were saying we're stuck between two worlds. Was it you? I think uh, it was. Mecca. And um, it's, it's almost like what I, f I see at the heart of some of these issues we're suffering, and I don't necessarily put government in the center, is this failure to follow through on our convictions. I just feel you, you have to believe in something enough to say, look, you know, on this point, I will pitch my tent and I will we'll, we'll duke it out here, we'll dig it out. But a lot of times we find ourselves, you know, like even simple things like even road traffic offenses. You see someone driving on the wrong side of the road. And you, that's part of the frustration for me. You know, I'm not planning to check out of Nigeria, but these are the things that give me headache every day. You know, you see there's a rule, there's a law, obey it. You see people doing what they like. But, and, your, and governor nobody... did, but your governor did yesterday. He drove oh, the wrong way. Yes, your way. governor took one way yesterday. It, it has gone viral. Can, you see, you see, 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 and he was the one who was telling us that he would deal with this matter. So these are the contradictions I see every day that can make you. It's not even that the problem exists. That you know, we're we young, we a nation that is still finding our feet. Oh yes, there's corruption. But let there be one follow through in one area because even amongst us here, you find that there may be an issue that you would say, oh, there's there's a way we should do it. But you find people say, eh, don't leave it. You know, there's that attitude of it allow it. Not everybody, you know. Eh. But we are the ones. We are the ones that are sustaining that state of lawlessness. We are the masses. You need to you know, What we say will stand. Will stand. You need to understand that the essence, the reason why we relinquish our individual rights in return for enforcement of these laws to, to a few, in return for protection welfare and enforcement of these collective laws. It's for a purpose. 
if you drive, really let me tell you this. You I used to have this attitude. Moral responsibility. I used to have this attitude until December. I was preparing to go to the village, and then I saw this uh, bullion van in the evening in traffic, mm -hmm. and they were driving one way, and I blocked them with my car, and the man bashed the hell out of my car, uh -huh. and I didn't have money to repair the car, and I was all alone, stranded. Uh -huh. And then somebody asked me, said, but come, take picture and post it on social media. That is what they respect. But you going to, you, now you get strong head pass. You know, so while I, I admit partly that yes, we contribute to all of this because I believe also the followers have a blame in this. But you find out that, I always say, when there is lawlessness in the land, where a government will make law, but will be the first to disobey that law, mm -hmm. where court will give order. And one man, the emperor, like Chuka said, believes <laughs> otherwise. And so it should be so. You will be, I don't want to use the word stupid, to now stand in, in front of a moving train. You, you know, so but you have to stand it's for good for us. First and me. foremost, I agree, it's good for us to sensitize the people like we are doing now. Mm -hmm. Let us come together. I imagine on Sunday you see everybody goes to church. I imagine if members of Deep Ally, Winners, Redeem, Catholics, Methodists, we all troop out and say today, we hold service, including Nasfat and the rest. We hold service on Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Until this road is we fixed. We will not move until something is done. done. Mm. Government will do something. But, live and for God, it is well. Mm. We won't achieve anything. Yeah, I, mean, I just so want to quickly you, throw you in, in a quote. I want to quickly in throw, in a, I want to throw in a quote because I think we're hamming I here. We're we're hamming, it we're, no, please, you can come back. We're hamming ourselves because I, I remember a quote by uh, Wale Shoinka and he says, S -s -s the man dies died. in all in all who keeps silent in the face, in of, the the face tyranny. Of, 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 of tyranny. Yeah. And I feel that that's what's happening to us. We're killing, we're dying slowly. Every day we keep quiet and we feel it's the government's fault. I and we know you, you need I'm not to... dead. And that's what I'm, I'm, I'm keeping myself in the land of the living because I refuse to stand and accept it, the boss, the horse has bolted. I can't do anything. No, Nigeria we can. Already we can, state. but we need that power help. first. We need that I'm power. not even waiting for power. We the don't have it individually. Yes, we don't have it individually. No, we don't have it. No, no, I, I, I insist we have something. Collectively. Is what the and that's why you would need but to start from for the religious body. collective power is also no, a delayed tactic. No, no, no let the religious body start it. People like Benga and the body. You know, we need that collective approach. And it's how to get the collective. That's what our problem. You see, Chuka, you see, the issue is beyond what we are just uh, in the in the space where ten of you agree that today, don't you know how Jota or yes, the, yes, occupy. Uh, occupy Nigeria 2012? You know how it fizzled out yeah. on that Monday morning. Yes, where we were, we were when, at Labour House. Yes. And then we marched on Labour House over and I And you know how far every one of us disappeared yeah. in the face of bullets. Of yes. Do you yeah, understand? Right, yeah. So what I'm saying is that in the space of you 10 people saying today, now today, we no go agree. All the you no go agree, CSO, civil, uh, civil society organizations, mm -hmm. where are they today? Since show where they have been put... Listen, I'm not in his party. I don't. I don't have any fraternity with him. But I'm saying, is this guy Agbajaligo, your your, your, yeah, your yes. brother? Yes. What has been, I Two saw, of them has been in Kasoyo. I saw Agbajaligo in handcuffs. Yeah, handcuffs. Yes. And I'm asking for okay. daring to call out a governor hey, to what, account for 500 for, million, million of state yeah. funds. What did this guy? What did this guy? Really? What, yes. Yeah. Meanwhile, in that same state, in 2017 or thereabout, I cannot remember. I was in that airport. Margaret Airport International Airport. Airport. I, as I landed inside the airport, rain was falling inside the airport. Mm. And I went to the station manager. Waiting happened. And we actually have a quote. We have a quote about 400 and something thousand naira. We are going to fix it. What as in gushing okay. and dropping inside the airport? Just 30 minutes after, this same governor landed from wherever. It and I went there. out and I counted 34 vehicles. Mm. Mm. Come to pick it's one man, yeah. 34 vehicles, yeah. and I counted five a particular car. Which, which, five that, personnel inside? No, five cars. There's this brand of a car, five of them. Mm. The price of that car then was 55 million each. Mm. That would be and I saw five. That would be maybe the land cruiser. And I saw five. You understand? And 
plus other 34. One man, he came only with yeah. the aid and whatever. How many of them? All of them were not put together. Budget of so, kinetics crystallization. Is a, is a, is a, I remember yeah. when I talked so, about delusions of grandeur, when I said a president who, be, who drives around or is driven around like the Buhari um, 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 motorcade. What do you call it? motorcade. So, when he came back from three months abroad or mm -hmm. four months, and you should have seen the length of that. So, so let, me, let me drive this home. The money. That people, Nigerians already, the mindset is that Sandra finish as special advisor. Mm -hmm. Come out. As I want come to out, yeah. recommend me. Make I enter too. That is the mindset. Exactly. They can don't be deceived. I know. It's, I, Do you understand? Like I don't know. Uh -huh. So, Buhari came back from the last trip. And you see ministers, senators, you see yeah. them lining up, lining up to welcome. welcome him. So, so there is something wrong, wrong with our something. mind. Something is wrong. Our yeah. mind yeah. needs to be renewed. People I don't learn from the plane yeah. on the yeah. same journey with yeah. them. Basically, I think so, we've talked about these issues for so long. Mm. This is not the first time. It's not going to be the last that we continue to, you know, analyze all of the issues of Nigeria. Um, Chuka said something about the legislation and the calling out the National Assembly and the State House of Assembly to enact these laws and also to ensure the implementation of these laws. Let me talk um, briefly on the Child Rights Act. The Child Rights Act was um, passed into law in 2003, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. This is 2019, yes. and Nigeria is the federal system of government, and unfortunately, the Child Rights Act, um, we do not have the doctrine of covering the field. So, 2019, that's about 13 years after. No, 16. 16, 16 years yeah. after, and not Nothing. all 36 states have in, in passed the Child no, Rights Act. Domesticated. domesticated it. Why do you do this, this domesticated? The Violence no, Against must. Persons Why? Act is yeah. also a very it's brilliant law. If you, if you take an exposition into the Violence Against Persons Act, it's a very brilliant law. But unfortunately, it's applicable only to Abuja. The federal capital territory. So it means that the other 36 states, we are still, we haven't really solved any other issue. So I think. Um, uh, and and lastly, propagating uh, lastly, a few seconds. This impunity started from when, as a palm sec, your job is not secure. You can be sacked over the radio during yeah. Murutala Mohammed's era, and yeah. so psycho took yes. over. Yeah. And that's what was. That was the beginning. Yeah. That was the beginning well, of our problem. Well, thank you very much. Um, you, uh, we can see we'll never tire in our advocacy. So don't you give up either. Keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time, let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye bye. Gracias. Bye bye. We'll be there. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you yeah? can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, really. It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. There could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, very, like, very <laughs> terrible <laughs> strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. How we like to hit the tracks. No time wasting. After the break, let's go there. Be body. <laughs> <laughs> You're not serious. My people were very happy with your be body.